So. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Okay. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Hey there. That's so. Uh... <laughs> Professor. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Oh, Professor! Have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Hey, Teach, I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? As it were, I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of a class assignment in the future. Okay. So. Professor. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. The monastery has some exceptional facilities that everyone who lives at the Officer's Academy is welcome to make use of. For example, you can enjoy a meal with your students at the dining hall, or take part in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training grounds. I suggest visiting the various facilities whenever you have the time to spare. It's a great way to get to know the students, faculty, and various workers here. Have you noticed the bulletin boards placed around the monastery? Those contain requests people have posted, as well as helpful information from the market. If you prove yourself by helping people with their requests, certain facilities here will become available for your use. The bulletin board is updated frequently, so I suggest checking it at least once a month. You should take your time when speaking with everyone, but when it comes to using the facilities, well, you need to be more careful about that. If you use them without planning ahead, your free time will be gone before you know it.
great deal is expected from professors of the Officers' Academy, so it's important to hone your skills. To put it plainly, you'll need to keep expanding your knowledge of all disciplines, not just battle. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. Okay. Yes. As it were, let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. I have a request. sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Tree Moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. My thanks. Anyway. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. 
My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Let's see. I'm a little busy. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? me so much. Greetings. Professor, I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. If my ways of speak... Uh, uh, of speech are causing a burden, I hope you will have forgiveness. Yes. I'm busy. Do you want something? Then get out of my way. I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Yes. Hmm. Hey there. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Professor, I've got a small favor to ask.
Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Nice! I knew I could count on you. Yes. Much appreciated. It's finally time for the mock battle. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. Do you think you can rise to the challenge? So confident. This will be interesting. Each of us has undergone strict training. We're prepared for anything that comes our way. That means there's no need to hold back. Show us what you're capable of. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries. We'll just join in now. Simply tell me your weaknesses and you're welcome to stay. But is there enough time to cover them all? Ah, so you can't win unless you know my weakness. Poor princess. You really should believe in yourself more. I spare no effort when pursuing victory. As a master of schemes, I should think you would understand. Schemes? Me? I have no idea what you're talking about. I plan to fight fair and square as ever. Hearing the words fair and square from Claude can only be a bad omen. Your highnesses haven't known me for very long, but you already have me figured out, don't you? No need to poke fun. I will fight with honor. That said, I will fight to win. Yes, and the same is true of us. Right, Professor? If that is how you feel, then I will not hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. Edelgard? Professor? Be careful out there.
The mock battle is finally here. Will you lead us to victory? I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Stay focused. I will prevail. I will get the victory. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. Done, Teach. I may have to. Professor is quite a commander. This was beneath me. forest to set up
If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. You fought well. Well done. Gonna fight two houses at once? <laughs> this is a good opportunity for me. Now. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. As expected. Another step forward. Ugh! <sighs> 
Thank you. You didn't give it your all. Coming up with brilliant schemes that can handle, no problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. You know that was a joke, right? Jeez, not so much as a smile. A real life princess. I'll have to be careful not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Khan. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this will be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? <laughs> it's a long road yet. I hate losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on. Each battle, a chance to grow. Well done. wound up a patient in my own infirmary. Well, how was that? So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move.
goodness. The leadership of someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. Failure is not an option. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Black Eagle House! Even though it was just a mock battle, we defeated both houses masterfully. Take pride in this victory, everyone. Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagles. That was impressing, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won! I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivities so we can discuss this topic further. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the Academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Dan Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. 
I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, Joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. The Knights are well aware of our enemy's strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever.
old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Hey, I hope we get a chance to practice together when you find the time. I know I'm in a different class, but you're the only other person here who's learned from Captain Gerald. Professor, hey, that it's not by the I guess if you put it, Professor, that it's not by the I guess I have a request. For some students, this will be their first time stepping onto a real battlefield. It's important that they're mentally prepared. As for me, <laughs> do I look green to you? Is there anything else you wish to ask me about regarding... Just as students have much to learn from other students, professors can also share their knowledge with each other. You should consider seeking instruction from Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. I think you'll find their insight quite interesting. Which house a student is assigned to depends on where they're from. That said, each professor has their own area of expertise. So if a student is adamant about it, it is possible to switch someone from one house to another, pending your approval, of course. If you become closer with the students by partaking in the various activities around the monastery, you'll be able to talk to them about such things. I fully accept the necessity of real battle from time to time, but it is still a surprise to be tasked with punishing bandits without warning. It is a rather different sort of mission. It makes me wonder what the Archbishop is planning. if you do not approach me. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. I hear you've been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sounds like you'll be fighting alongside the knights, too. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. Uh. That's so. Hmm. Oh, Professor. Hello. I was just looking for my... Well, it's... it's like a pale blue cloth. Have you seen it? Uh, um... okay. What is it? I'm not doing anything! I'm not bothering! 
bothering anybody. Hmm. Have we met? No, sorry. You remind me of someone I know. Kindly do something for me. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? sure does remind oh do you need me for something thank you well hmm. do you know of the Iyer family we have the Empire's power lies with six noble the full explanation may be time-consuming I can give you a moment to get ready if all right there's Kaspar's father, Count Burglies, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Eyre, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. There is nothing I cannot achieve. Here, the Officers Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, that is how the establishment was founded. I have a favor to ask. Quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor, 
Did you come to pray to the goddess? Me too. Shall we pray together? Oh, you are- I'm already having so much fun. So, there's something else. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the- You don't sound terribly sure. Perhaps you are not of noble birth? So. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. Inside the cathedral, now that you are... I have something to ask of you.